in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. The impact of fuel subsidy removal to Nigerian economy as well as suggestions to way forward. Oil price and its reality from economic point of view, I hope our leaders will listen. To begin with, let's talk about how this oil prices hike will affect the Nigerian economy on a micro level. As a Nigerian, from the 31st of May 2023, you may have already understood the direct microeconomic implications of higher oil prices. When observing higher oil prices, most of us are likely to think about the price of PMS, diesel and kerosene as well, since these are very necessary for most households. Now that oil prices have increased across the nation, a larger share of households' budgets are likely to be spent on it, which leaves less to spend on other goods and services. The same goes for businesses whose goods must be shipped from place to place or that use fuel as a major input such as the business who run on generators to power their industries or small businesses. It is not a rocket science at all. Higher oil prices tend to make production more expensive for businesses just as they make it more expensive for households to do the things they normally do. What effects do oil prices have on the macroeconomy? I've just explained how oil prices affect households and businesses. It is not a far leave to understand how oil prices affect the macroeconomy. Our dear leaders, your decision to remove fuel subsidy at this time in Nigeria will result to an increase in inflation and at the same time reduce economic growth. In terms of inflation, oil prices directly affect the prices of goods made with petroleum products. As mentioned earlier, your decision has indirectly affected costs such as transportation, manufacturing, heating and cooling across the nation. The increase in these costs can in turn affect the prices of a variety of goods and services as producers may pass production costs on to the final consumers. The extent to which oil price increases lead to consumption price increases depends on how important oil is for the production of a given type of good or service. Another downside of this oil price hike is it will surely stifle the growth of the Nigerian economy through its effects on the supply and demand for goods other than oil. Moreover, the pump price increase will depress the supply of other goods because it will increase the cost of producing them. In economics terminology, high oil prices can shift up the supply curve for the goods and services for which oil is an input. My dear leaders, this isn't political at all, but the truth of the matter is the recent increase in oil prices will be characterized by low growth, high unemployment and high inflation. This is also often referred to as periods of stagflation. You see prices going up and at the same time there are no jobs to do by the citizens. And I'm sure that's not what His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces would like to see happening in his country. 
in conclusion, we hope the government will have a rethink and focus on the following suggestions. One, this administration needs to settle the issues affecting the people of the South South, especially uh, in Niger Delta, in order to revamp our crude oil production capacity to meet up with our OPEC approved output. This can't be achieved without stopping all oil theft and pipeline ventilation in totality in the South South region of Nigeria. Two. This administration needs to continue with the project of Kolmani oil exploration in the northeastern part of Nigeria, as flagged up by the federal government last year. Three. Mr. President, please break the jinx and fix some of our refineries in Port Harcourt with. 210,000 barrels refining capacity per day, as well as Wari and Kaduna with 100,000 barrel refining capacity per day each. Even if it is on a barter system in exchange for crude oil to China, India, or any other nation willing and ready to fix our refineries. Number four. Number four instead of subsidy, reduce excise tax on importers in the short run, etc. Best regards. I thank you all for watching. I am Dr. Abubakar Adam, an economic policy analyst and specialist.